I'm Tiger Height, and I'm here to make AEW Dynamite and Pro Wrestling Majestic again. Is this really what we're doing here? Oh my god. I mean, there's some good stuff, but Jesus Christ. Where's that 2019 Dynamite? Where was that, like, optimistic, fun, and different promotion other than let's pretend to be WWE on daddy's money? I don't even have a picture for this. I know it's out there, and I'm not going to care to look for it because I don't care. Uh, MGF versus the Anti-Semite for the Dynamite Diamond Ring. Yes, your opener was the AEW World Champion in a match against a racist in a match that was not for a title. It was for a ring. What do you get for winning this ring? A title opportunity, maybe like the next main eventer. None of that. It, it was just for reasons. Anyway, uh, it was Heat Seeker for MJF to beat the anti-Semite. It was fine. Uh, the Kingdom and the Acclaimed helped MJF because he's a pussy. And then Kenny Omega challenged MJF for the AEW World Champion for Collision. I want to say that this decision was made for me to watch Collision again. But at the same time, I'm not an idiot. This is a attention grab, and I'm not going to fall for it. If it's a good match, I'll watch it. If not, go fuck yourself. I'll give it a full thumbs up, d despite the anti-semi actually having a match. Hook and Rob Van Dam. You have Hook and goddamn a WWE Hall of Famer, an actual wrestling company, Hall of Famer, Rob Van Dam, versus, versus... The Dark Order. This is what you're doing. Not like a contendership or maybe at least for the Ring of Honor Tag Team Champ. I don't even know who the Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions are now, nor do I care. You could have done a lot more there with Hook and Rob Van Dam other than facing the Jobber Tag Team. And did they bring up Mr. Brody Lee? Of course they brought up Mr. Brody Lee. They can't go 10 minutes without jerking off towards the dead. They're digging up his dumbass body and just plowing it until the kids come home. That's what this is. Did the Dark Order happen because of Brody Lee? No. Are they exploiting it because of Brody Lee? You're goddamn right. It's disrespectful. It was a red rum for the win. It was a nothing burger. And guess what? Just because of them sitting there stroking themselves to Brody Lee, even though he's been dead for years, let him rest. Two fuck yous and a thumbs down. God, I hate it. I hate being so vitriolic in a show, but them just sitting there, not talking about the actual talent in the ring, talking about the leader who unfortunately passed away over and over again. Oh my God, it was insufferable. Sting's special gift from Tony Khan. Once again, they have to sit there jerking off Tony Khan because apparently Britt Baker isn't good enough to do it anymore. They dragged out Ric Flair. Any AEW person sitting there complaining about NXT, bringing out the legends, you better shut your fucking mouth now. You have no room to talk at this point. They dragged out Ric fucking Flair towards Sting. You don't think that's a get? Towards any sort of, oh, nostalgic shit, shut your dumb ass up. That's your gift. That's your gift. Another old man. That's your gift, Sting. That's how much they care about you. This thing gets a two thumbs down and a double fuck you because the hypocrisy of the fan base. And guess what, Tony Khan? I know you can't hear me through the coke going through your veins, but I want you to hear this. And Shahid, you better cut off your kid's salary now. He's going to bankrupt you at this point. This sucks. The Hung Bucks. 
versus the Hardys and um, Isaiah Cassidy. Was this for the AEW World Six Man Tag Team Champions or the Trios Champions? No, it's for the Ring of Honor. What? Why? Oh my God! The Hardys looked awful. They could barely move. Um, Isaiah Cassidy, bless his heart, he dragged this to a passable match. BTE trigger on Isaiah to win. The Hardys, both of them can go fuck themselves. Cassidy, you deserve a hell of a lot better than this nonsense. And the Hung Bucks, fuck you. Thumbs down, fuck you. Embarrassing title defense. Embarrassing titles to defend. Embarrassing challengers because they went absolutely nothing to get these title opportunities. This is just so you can say that you had a title match. That's not how that works here, boyo. Let's maybe try a little bit harder. Oh my god. Um, so Ruby Soho won this opportunity in a horribly embarrassing match. She took on Hikaru Shida for the AEW Women's World Champion. They just did this because they wanted a title match. This world champion means absolutely nothing to anybody. It, it, it's embarrassing. It was a fine match. It was a lot better than the Sky Blue match, but Ruby Soho, at the very least, tried, maybe, kind of. Either that or Hikaru Shida is that good. And I'm convinced that she's that good because Ruby Soho, uh, despite her training at the Performance Center, is a colossal failure in every way, shape, or form. She has not had anything good on Dynamite. She can go piss up a tree. She is a baby, just like Soraya online. And it was a katana for the win. The right person won. Tony Storm came out, challenged for the world champion, rock in a hard place. I'm, I'm curious. They're probably going to do that match goddamn next stupid-ass week instead of waiting until full, full goddamn gear. But I'll hold my breath on that. Uh, Ruby Soho, you get a th fuck you. And Hikaru Shida, you know what? You get an Orange Cassidy thumbs up. Now, the main event was 100% the right main event. Uh, Chaos, Kazuchika Okada, and Orange Cassidy versus Blackpool Combat Club's Brian Danielson and Claudio Castagnoli. The question is, Why? No, seriously. Why? Why, how, and where? Brian Danielson, let's have limited time. Have another match with uh, Kazuchika Okada. Orange Cassidy has a title. I don't think I saw it at all. Nor I didn't care. Uh, he was pinned. Orange Cassidy was, because of, co of course he was. With a very European uppercut for BCC to win. Overall, I actually did like the match. But the premise, the situation, and everything... Rock, hard place. Rock, hard place. Why did you do this? You know why? Because Tony Khan is so full of goddamn cocaine, it's stupid. I'm going to give it an Orange Cassidy thumbs up. And to be honest with you, that's nice. I expected more. I expected better. I expected something maybe more of a build. But that's not how AEW works. It works like a fantasy land. Because it's on daddy's money. That's it. Get over it, bitches. Yeah, Orange Cassidy thumbs up. And that was Dynamite. Let me know what you thought about not only Dynamite, but my video in the comments down below or right over here next to me. Subscribe to the channel, become a patron, get hats, all that great stuff will be in the bio or in the description. And as always, be majestic. Also, I'm not sure where I'm going to replace Collision on. I'm not covering Collision regularly anymore. So if you have a suggestion, let me know. Uh, right now, it's between MLW Fusion and NWA Power. I'm leaning more towards Power, but I want to hear from you. And don't suggest Ring of Honor or Rampage or even Collision because I'm not going to do that anymore because I have more uh, faith in my own abilities and I have self-respect. So don't even bother.